Hello everyone, welcome back to another week's of summary on my Slim TSI uh, build block. Um, in terms of hours, I haven't done much this past week and a half. I've been preparing for uh, my uh, a upcoming business trip, but uh, I did manage to squeeze in a few hours to work on the wing and a few other things. So I will walk you through. So last week, um, last Friday, my fuselage kit finally arrived. So you can see there, and there was a tube of Longeron uh, behind it. So I spent a couple hours to inventory and putting the back order uh, items to the Sling Builders app. Um, together with the fuselage kit, it also came with the replacement uh, leading skin for on my right wing. So uh, if uh, if you missed my previous blocks, uh, I talked about how I made a damage to the leading edge on the right wing and I decided to replace it. So this is the replacement piece. And uh, I have been uh, drilling out the rivets from the right wing uh, in the last almost two weeks. Um, so the top side has been finished and I've been uh, walking through my way on the bottom side. So I have been trying to drill out this entire section of the rivets in order to replace this skin. I'm still not done yet. If you can, as you can see, I finished the top section and uh, most of the rivets on the bottom are still here. I just started dr drilling out this row. Um, so there are lots of rivets I had to drill out and I kind of learned a few uh, things uh, along the way that uh, it would be interesting to share. Um, so the thing I kind of realized as I was r removing the rivets was that um, it's probably gonna end up better if when I uh, skip a couple rivets, uh, when I was re removing them. So essentially, I will remove only the even number of the rivets, then put in the critical, and then come back here and then remove this, the odd number uh, rivets. So basically removing the first one, third one, fifth one, seventh one, like that, and then come back and then remove the second one, fourth one, sixth one, and eighth, and so on and so forth. So the reason I feel like this is uh, gonna end up with a better result is when you have two rivets here already attached and when you drill out the center, uh, you know, something's holding on both sides. So the skin will not move when you drill out the center one. And same here, right? So when you skip one and move to the next one, uh, you still have something on both sides to hold the skin down and so you can re remove the center uh, rivet. So basically overall as I drill out every rivet by skipping one in between, the uh, the skin is fairly stable. Um, however, when I was, when I, uh, and also, you know, once you're done with that, putting in the rivets, the uh, clicos and the the clinical will help us keep the skin uh, stable, then you can drill out the rest of the rivets. So when I started this process, I kind of didn't think about this. So I just started here and then started to drill, uh, drill out the rivets one by one, like that, just, just in a row like that. And um, maybe it's just because of this, the, the way the skin is uh, attached to the ribs. But um, essentially, as I removed more and more rivets, this skin started to peel away. It wants to, uh, you know, uh, stay away from the rib. So it basically, it kind of become a little bit wobbly when the drill was working its way through the, the rivets. So it's it's not really noticeable uh, through naked eyes, but you, when I go, th when I get close enough with my drill, it can definitely feel the effect. So uh, in that way, I think the rivet didn't come out as clean as it should, as it can be. So I kind of switched my strategy and, uh, you know, uh, drill 
every other rivet out, then put in the critical and then come back and drill the rest out. So um, I don't know if this is actually a common practice. It's just something I discovered uh, when I was working on this piece. So there is that. Okay, so moving on. Um, and uh, I also made some progress on the left wing. So as you can see, the top skin has been clicked. Uh, I mean, this is just a test fit. I haven't really put in much effort to, uh, you know, match drill or anything like that. You can see the even the stringers haven't been cleaned or deburred. Uh, it's not in the wing yet. So I really wanted to just uh, kind of uh, putting in a f putting a few clicks so it, the wing gets some rigidity. So I can move it to the floor and leave the space to fix the right wing. So I think the next uh, step for me is to primarily focus on the right wing here. So once I replace the leading edge, I will probably start working on the, the trailing edge. So I have a, the entire row of uh, rivets, solid rivets to do. Um, so Sling actually shipped to me uh, just regular uh, pop rivets for those. And, but based on other people's experience uh, building them, um, people generally tend to sw swap out those uh, with solid rivets to provide better clearance between the the wing surface and uh, the control surfaces like the aileron and the flap. So I plan to do that. Um, I have my air compressor over there. I have my uh, pneumatic squeezer. I just uh, haven't got the time got a chance to set them up yet. So I think um, once the leading edge is done, I'll work on the trailing edge, then I will fit the ailerons and the flaps uh, to the wing and then make sure they align. Um, I'll temporarily remove this side of the jig and put in the last piece of rib to, uh, in, in, as part of the alignment. Uh, it's too bad that I don't have the I don't have the composite wind tip yet because based on all the YouTube videos I've been watching, when people align their aileron and flaps, they also have the, the wind tip right here. So everything is aligned. But I don't have the wind tip. Uh, I asked seeing, uh, the, the airplane factory a, a, a few times already, but um, it doesn't seem like I'll be getting them uh, very soon. So I don't know what's going to happen uh, on the alignment. Uh, I think I'll, we'll figure it out. I think I'll, at least I will try to put on the rib, uh, rib 14 and, and hook on and, and use some, um, I believe that's AM3 or AM4 bolts to, uh, I'll temporarily put them on and then just see if I can have enough uh, kind of, you know, corners to align all the parts. If not, then I guess we'll have to wait for the wind tip to show up. Um, yeah, and uh, also still missing the landing light. I'm missing the landing light parts itself, so I cannot, uh, I can't actually um, install the landing light yet. Um, that's it on the left side. Oh, obviously, I still need to build a fuel tank um, on the right side. So then on the left wing, it's a little bit more complicated than the right side because it has the avionics, uh, the pitot tube here. So I'm not sure if you can see, I already have the pitot installed. Um, that was a process to install this. Um, I'll show a few pictures here, but essentially um, the Pito tube comes with two very, very long and thin aluminum tube. Uh, that's just too long to for the uh, for the skin. So I had to bend them pretty much like 90 degree angle and also cut them. So on the installation manual, they say to leave at least eight inches of the aluminum tube. Um, at first, I didn't know why. I, I forgot where I read them, but essentially, someone mentioned that the in, eight inches length is supposed to uh, provide enough, I guess, enough metal and surface area to for the uh, for the tube to cool down. 
so it doesn't melt the plastic tubes that's connected to the apito. So that makes sense. Um, so I connected, I installed the wiring for the pito also, um, and uh, I drilled uh, a couple of holes, uh, manufactured, I guess, uh, manufactured a uh, mounting point for the pito controller unit. Uh, then kind of just run the wire and run the plastic tube across the wing and here you see uh, here's the tube and here are the wires um, yeah so that's kind of on the right side uh, bottom skin is already finished um, this the sorry the left side and um, the left wing is slightly behind compared to the right wing. Um, I still need to have uh, do the leading edge, the aileron and flaps, uh, then obviously the fuel tank. So maybe a couple more weeks of work here uh, for both wings combined. Um, I'm really looking forward to open up the box for the fuselage and and you know see what uh, what work is ahead of me for for that.